Welcome back, Rachel and Eagles. We hope that you had a great Tuesday evening. Today's Wednesday, February 10th. For any of our families that were not able to come for the remote pickup yesterday, for the materials, we do have them in the front vestibule of the school. You can just walk right in. They're in some red crates on your left-hand side in alphabetical order. So please make sure that you do come and pick those up so your child has the materials for the next six weeks. Today we are very excited to be welcoming some of our remote students into the building for MAP testing. This afternoon and tomorrow afternoon from 1 to 2 o'clock, our remote students that signed up for those two days will be coming into our gym to take the MAP testing. What's very cool is our remote students will be testing for grades 3, 4, and 5 at the very same time that their students in the remote classes will be testing as well too. So we are going to be doing reading and math for the next couple days. And then we have several days over the course of this week and next week to do remote testing as well. Parents of remote students, if you did not sign up for the in-person testing for remote, you can still reach out to myself or Ms. Kazmarek so we can make that happen. If those days and times don't work, we can make some accommodations too, so please let us know. Remember, students in 3, 4, and 5, if you're not coming in, you can still test with your teachers, but we can't do that for kindergarten, first or second grade, just because of the nature of the test. Okay, today is our 100th day of school. Can you believe it? We have been going through the school year now for 100 days, and I just have to share a t-shirt I'm wearing. Miss Kazmarek made it for us a couple years ago that we soared our way to 100 days, and we have been so successful, and we have been flying high, and we want to keep that momentum going. Today, I do know that there are some 100-day activities going on in a variety of grade levels. I can't wait to see some of our students here in school that might be dressing up, or if we have anyone on camera to see what they look like if they're 100 years old. I know down in third grade, they're using Snapchat filters to take pictures of students to age them to 100 years old. So lots of cool things happening today. Let's celebrate our success at 100 days. I wonder what Eddie and Miss Kazmarek are up to today. We're going to have to check that out. We do have some birthdays today on the 100th day of school. Actually have one. And Miss Hearsink, happy birthday to you. Miss Hearsink is with Miss Conroy in room 218, is a student teacher, so we do hope that you have a good day. For our shout outs today, actually, Mrs. G is shouting out myself and Miss Kazmarek. For, from Mrs. G's class for coming down to help during multi, uh, map testing when there were some problems. She said we dropped what we were doing to help and we really she really appreciates it. Well, that's what we do at Ridgeland School, right? We are all here to support each other. We're here for each other. So of course, Mrs. G's class, you are very welcome. Ms. Dempsey Abdella Barat would like you to know that you guys did something really cool on Friday and he wanted to shout you out for that. Mrs. Propot Mrs. Propati Salma Abdul Razik says you do things to make work easier. We also have a shout out going to Mrs. Alayan from Naya. Naya says that Mrs. Alayan helps her learn every single day and she helped her so much with getting ready for the math test. So thank you, Mrs. Alayan. All right, everybody, that's it for me and off to Ms. Casmir and Eddie. Welcome back, Eagles. Miss Kazmir here with my pal Eddie today. Looking forward to our 100th day of school. We're so excited for today. We can't believe it's been 100 days already. You can see I have my sword our way into 100 day shirt on matching Mrs. Sitaro this morning. But Eddie, you make an amazing 100 year old eagle today. Just call me Old Man Eddie today. All right, Old Man Eddie, whatever you say. Our after-school activities, don't forget, meets today, and session two will begin next week. The forms and sign-up for session two is shared in our third, fourth, and fifth grade Google Classrooms. So if you would like to participate in the session two activities, make sure you fill out that form. It is due by tomorrow morning for all of our third, fourth, and fifth graders. Eddie and I are also looking forward to see some of you coming in today for our MAP test. We'll meet you in the gym this afternoon. Eddie has a special segment later in the announcements for everyone today for the 100th day of school. He's going to be sharing some special math riddles with everyone, and we really want you to try to solve them, whether it's during the lunch break or if your teacher gives you some time or if you want to work on it as a class. If you solve the four riddles that Eddie's going to share, make sure that you share those answers with us. There might be some valuable prizes or some shout outs in your future if you can solve all those riddles. I'm going to stump all of you youngins with my tricky riddles. He's going to stump all you youngins. Our Ridgeline quote of the day for today is, the expert in anything was once the beginner. We were all beginners 100 days ago, and now I see so many experts at the halls and online for Ridgeline School. If everyone now can please join me and Eddie in our moment of reflection.
Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey there, Eagles. Old Man Eddie here with some 100-day riddles for everyone. Solve it in a class and have your teachers send us your answers. Riddle number one. If there are four apples and you take away three, how many do you have? Riddle number two. I add five to nine and get two. The answer is correct. But how? Riddle number three. I am an odd number. Take away an alphabet and I become even. What number am I? And riddle number four. Using only addition, how can you add eight eights to get the number 1,000? Happy 100th Day, Eagles. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Eagles, and always remember our guidelines to success. Everyone is responsible. Always be respectful. Give your best. Look out for each other. Everybody matters. Stay safe.